Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nuatak Videos and in this video we will learn how we can install the NPS role, Network Policy Server role on server 2019. So in the previous video we understood what is NPS, Network Policy Server and for what purposes we can utilize this role. So just for brief, let me tell you that this role can be configured for the wireless connectivity if you are planning for or network health uh, evaluator and in some more cases uh, you can install this role for uh, logging or accounting purposes. So let's go ahead and install this server uh, with the NPS role. So first you have to open the server manager and uh, you have to go to the manage then add roles and features and the wizard will start to install the role. So you have to click on next then again next and then the server you have to define. So this is my domain controller and here only I will install this role and uh, so since this is role so it will be under role only so you can see network policy and access services and you can see here the description that is network policy and access services provides network policy server which help safeguard the security of your network so basically this is the secure uh, way of network establishment so and this will create a secure channels or enable the secure channels while any network action is being configured so it could be your uh, dscp ip assigning to the computers or uh, uh, providing network access through wireless connections so to install this you have to simply just click on that and uh, here some related uh, features will be installed so we have to click on add features then next and uh, here are the features and next and again you have to click on install so this role will be installed so This is the starting the installation of ROM. So the ROM is installed successfully. Let us close it so it does not need any restart. Okay, so this is done to open it. You have to go to the tools and here you have to locate network policy server. So here you go and uh, we have to click on that. Let's see the overview. What and all is there. So after installation of this role you can see uh, the network policy server and here you can start the configuration and what configuration you want to start. So standard configuration you have to drop down and you can see this is for VPN and wireless network connections and uh, these are clients and server for radius purpose if you want to configure it for uh, wireless or uh, wireless connection for the end user you have to configure the policies and here are the clients so if you have the routers you have to configure all the routers wireless routers over here and if you want to manage the switches or the routers network routers so you have to add them over here A remote radius server groups now this is for remote proxy and uh, the next section that is the policy so file policy you can see the connection request policy so this is default one 
Use Windows authentication for all users so this is default and here are network policies the network policy also you have to configure along with the adding the devices and here this section is for the accounting purpose so if you want to do any accounting for any application or uh, other services you can configure the accounting and uh, the next one is the templates so here are some templates already so you can use the template for different different purposes so that is all in NPS and in the next video we will understand how we can configure the network uh, access protection uh, for the end users machine. So that's it in this video and in the next video we will configure uh, a NAP network access protection, protection. and thanks for watching.